Okay, our alternative energy is Tidal Energy, and it's by Maria, Abby, Bailey, and Aaron. What is Tidal Energy? Tidal Energy is a form of hydropower that converts the energy of tides into electricity. It uses the ocean's waves or temperature difference in the water. Turbines are placed in water, are placed under the sea in areas that have high tidal movement. These turbines are designed to capture the energy produced by the tidal movement and are then transformed into electricity. Tidal energy is not that popular is not that popular as France is the only country that took advantage of its of this type of power source. France has the biggest tidal power plant on earth. Tidal energy has also been used on the Atlantic coast of North America. Tidal energy is one of the oldest forms of energy known to man since approximately 787 CE when it was used to help farmers grind corn and grains into flour. Even though it is not yet widely used, tidal power has potential for future generation with the help of tide charts for knowing high and low tides. Tides are more predictable than wind energy and solar power. This is a uh, tidal energy, but uh, I put a Yoda picture here and said the word tidal will. Fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are giving us problems and it needs a solution. We are running out of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are becoming more and more expensive. The idea, a bridge hanging energy catcher and will use things already in the area of which they would go and can take in a lot of energy and is somewhat consistent. The power station can be somewhere near the bridge and won't need that much from just the power, or won't need that much room just for the power. How does it work? Can be put in areas where there's rarely civilization. Spins around a halfway and then it would turn back and go again. Um, if in an area where smaller boats may be coming in and out, uh, can go to the side and also have bumpers around it. Okay, that was tidal by us. Tidal energy by me, Erin, and my friend Ariana. What is tidal energy? Tidal power is a non-polluting, reliable, and predictable type of energy, unlike wind and waves. It is one of the oldest forms of energy used by humans. It dates back to clear to 787 AD. The water on the left is a river, and the water on the right is the ocean. As the water exits back into the ocean, it spins the turbine under the bridge. Um. Where is this a good prospect? An area with great prospect for the type of alternative energy is right under the bridge, ac going across the Silence River, leaving town. The water off the Pacific Northwest are ideal for tapping into an ocean of power using newly developed undersea turbines. The tides along the Northwest coast fluctuate dramatically, as much as 12 feet a day, which is just perfect. Impact on the environment. Tidal energy is a renewable resource of electri electricity which does not result in a, any release of gases responsible for global warming or acid rain, which is usually associated with fossil fuel generated electricity. Cost. Tidal power is a form of a low head hydroelectricity and uses familiar low head hydroelectric generating equipment such as has been in the use for more than 120 years. The technology required for tidal power is well developed and the main barrier to 
increase use of the tides is that of construction costs. There is a high capital cost for a tidal energy project which is poss with possibly a 10 year construction period. Therefore, the electricity cost is very sensitive to the discount rate. Another factor that needs to be taken is corrosion from the salt water on the turbines. The demand for electricity on an electrical grid varies with the time of day. The supply of electricity from tidal power plant will never match the demand on a system. But due to the lunar cycle and gravity, tidal currents, although variable, although variable and reliable, are and predictable, and their power can make a valuable contribution to electrical system, which has a variety of sources. Variety of sources. Sorry. Tidal electricity can be used to displace electricity, which those would otherwise be generated by fossil fuel-fired power plants, thus reducing emissions from greenhouse gases and acid gases. So I think we should dig into our piggy banks and try this out. It's the most logical of all the alternative energies besides waiver energy available to the coast. Yes, it is expensive, but maybe in the long run it will pay off. fossil fuels for electricity transportation and pro production. As the, as the downside of it, we have a limited supply and demand happens to be skyrocketing. Many are concerned about the economic, ec economic e how the fossil fuels pollute and what were to happen if we were to run out. There are many wonderful things that on earth that we are able to use it for energy instead of those fossil fuels. You do not have to worry. For those who live near the coast, I would recommend tidal energy. Tidal energy give, gains its en energy from the tides of the ocean. Unlike solar, you don't need sun. You also don't need the wind like wind energy either. You just need the tides. Lucky for those who have very many sunny days, like here on the coast, tides don't need sun. Tidal energy is a form of hydropower, which, a con which confers energy from the tides into different useful forms of power, mainly electricity. This energy is renewable energy more predictable than others. In fact, in the past, tide mills have been used in Europe and North America on the Atlantic coast line. Incoming water was originally contained in large storage ponds. When the tide went out, the water wheels were turning, creating mechanical energy to use. Tidal energy usage, usage dates back to the Middle Ages and even Roman times. The greater and the higher the tide current for the place, the better of a potential for a site of tidal electricity. Due to the fact that tides are caused by the moon, tidal energy is nearly inexhaustible. There happens to be three generating methods, tidal stream generators, TSGs, tidal bar barges, and dynamic tidal power, DTP, making uh, use of kinetic energy by moving water as the power turbines is the tidal stream method. An amount of generators can be built already into already existing structures such as bridges. Tidal barrages are used to generate power. With the potential energy gained from a tide is then taken through a series of dams. For when the sea level rises, the tidal energy is moved through large basins holding the potential energy behind the dam. When the tide recedes, the energy is then transformed into mechanical energy. Water is released through, a large, through large turbines creating electrical power using generators. Basically, bridges or dams that stretch across the length of a tidal estuary. A potentially promising yet untried piece of technology that would pose as an interaction with potential and kinetic energy in tidal is the dynamic tidal power, DDP. DDP wishes for a very long, large dam to be, piece of dam to be built, running from the coast straight out to the ocean. Not enclosed in an area, though. These days, they may be about 30 to 50 kilometers in length. 
While introducing the differences in the tidal phase across the dam, all lead to a significant rise in the water level in shallow areas along the coast, creating strong, osculating coast currents. With all energy sources comes issues. Tidal energy issues are ecological and corrosive. Tidal may have potentially ecological effects by possible harming marine life. The energy turbines can potentially kill sea life swimming around the rotating blades. Many species of fish may might not reproduce or utilize this area of life if they feel threatened in any way. Corrosion. Corrosion can be caused by salt water itself. The turbines, which are metal pieces, can also be damped. Speaking of the size of the stream generator and the depth of the water, the, they can be very difficult to maintain the water. Any lubricants or like fluids, mechanical fluids that help to process stuff, can be leaked out and cause harm to the potential marine life in the nearby areas. With proper maintenance, this issue can be minimized in the environment. And we hope you choose tidal energy.